Hi everyone, I'm Samara Priyadarshini, a software engineer from India. I'm currently working as a junior software engineer at Polar Signals. I am also a kernel contributor and uh, worked as the Linux kernel outreach intern for the December 2020 cohort along with mentors Daniel Vetter and Melissa Wen. As part of my outreach project, I worked on the VKMS driver, which is the virtual kernel mode setting driver. That's a software only model of the KMS driver. The basic idea behind this driver was to uh, be able to test and validate code uh, for virtual displays without necessarily requiring hardware support, uh, which would be very useful uh, in, a mach in a headless machine like uh, CI. Uh, my project mainly involved working on two uh, parts of code. One of them was the VKMS driver, which is part of the GPU subsystem. The other was uh, the test suite for a graphics driver, that is the Intel GPU tools suite. <clears throat> Add two features to my uh, as part of my internship I decided to add two features to the VKMS uh, driver. One of them was to expose the VKMS uh, driver through the configfs file system. Uh, this would uh, allow us to test multiple instances of VKMS at the same time. The other part that I wanted to add was to implement a virtual hardware or a vblankless mode. Currently, VKMS mimics actual hardware using vertical blanking interrupts. But we wanted to introduce a mode where it can also emulate a virtual hardware that is hardware used in virtual machines like KMU or uh, KVM. Uh, so we essentially wanted uh, a mode without uh, vertical blanking interrupts, that is a vblankless mode. However, a month into the internship, uh, after we had uh, done some prep work for the configfs file system and uh, I had explored the subsystem a bit more, uh, I realized that it's probably not a feasible goal uh, to do both parts uh, given my internship timeline. Uh, so I decided to change my expectations a bit and uh, readjust goals. Uh, to something more reasonable and to just stick to emulating virtual hardware mode for now. Uh, the goal was to uh, have uh, the test thresholds preserved at the end of this uh, patch, uh, except the subtests which uh, depend directly on vertical blanking interrupts. Now for the implementation. So for the implementation. So uh, as a prep work for adding virtual hardware mode, we first uh, ne needed to uh, change uh, the VKMS composer functions a bit. Now, uh, we wanted to have a separate composer function, which would be called uh, in the vblankless mode. So, uh, we uh, wrote a common VKMS composer function uh, this function would uh, be called by both the virtual hardware mode and uh, the uh, normal mode as well. Then what we did was uh, we added the uh, atomic helpers for the virtual hardware mode and uh, and yeah, that was it. Uh, so to come to this point, it took me a fair amount of time because first I had to uh, understand the atomic interface, uh, which was very new to me. Uh, I also had to uh, use ftrace uh, to um, understand the uh, flow of things and uh, what exactly interrupts are and how they affect the rest of the code uh, and what is the sequence of functions and uh, what parts uh, do we need to uh, uh, check out for errors and all. Uh, so, uh, but once this was done and we introduced that atomic helpers and uh, refactored the composer, I thought my work was done. Uh, the tests also passed, uh, which was good. I sent, since the tests passed, I sent in the patch. But, yeah, there's always a but. And, uh, well, uh, turns out I had not felt the need to check the dmessage logs for the tests that had passed. I had only looked 
at the logs for the test that had failed. When my mentor pointed this out to me, I looked at the logs and they were full of memory allocation errors in the KMS flip tests. Uh, further, all subtests with interrupts were causing a kernel panic. So uh, the next step was obviously to uh, figure out how to fix these uh, tests. Right, so turns out there were two errors. One of them was being caused by the composer using Kesa log to allocate frames and was easily solved using uh, kvmalloc instead because uh, kvmalloc does not uh, need uh, to allocate physically contiguous memory locations. And uh, since the uh, kernel page size is only like 4 KBs for my machine, uh, hence kvmalloc was not really able to uh, allocate size, uh, the requested size here. The other error was a flaky VMAP allocation error, which uh, though was already present in the subsystem, uh, but it was sort of interacting with my patch to give a kernel panic. Uh, thankfully, this error was uh, solved uh, by Thomas uh, Zimmerman, who fixed it in his patch for uh, using shadow buffers uh, in VKMS. And uh, suddenly the error uh, you know, disappeared after a rebase. So um, I thought we were good to go. And, uh, but no, the CRC test still failed. Since uh, CRC is calculated around vertical blanking interrupts and we disable the vertical blanking interrupts, so all the CRC tests are failing. Uh, now we need to um, implement CRC as a one-shot operation However, that would take a lot of testing uh, and also a lot of refactoring, which uh, maybe is best left for another patch. So for now, we are just modifying uh, the atomic helpers to skip all the CRC tests. Uh, once we did this, uh, right now all the tests uh, either skip or pass and uh, the, rest, uh, the results are mostly preserved. So yeah, I have sent in that patch and uh, let's see. I'd like to talk a bit about uh, what I learned during this internship. One of them definitely was uh, writing idiomatic C, uh, being familiar with tools like Ftris, Chemu, and getting comfortable with uh, Git. Another one was uh, how to not get tests to pass uh, and to understand uh, trade-offs around uh, locks and uh, interrupts. Uh, I also learned about the atomic interface, which is used so extensively uh, in the graphics subsystem. Uh, something else um, that this internship really helped me with is uh, to be able to ask for help every time I was uh, stuck. Uh, I used to be very scared to do this earlier, and uh, but I I'm more or less comfortable asking questions publicly now. Uh, also, something else I really learned is that planning ahead, uh, researching uh, potential road roadblocks and having grace time to be able to catch up is also very important. And uh, there were some uh, side quests, like uh, some other work that I ended up doing uh, during the internship uh, as initial tasks, I think. Uh, they're, they're minor fixes, but they really helped me get familiar with uh, the VKMS driver. And uh, as for future work, I want to continue uh, to contribute uh, to the VKMS driver. And uh, I would uh, like to uh, continue with uh, the ConfigFS work and uh, also come up with a way to implement CRC for virtual hardware and be blankless mode. I would uh, like to take this time to uh, thank my mentors, Daniel Vetter and Melissa Wen, for being uh, so uh, patient and uh, uh, nice while teaching me so much and not giving up on me. Uh, I also want to thank uh, Sage and uh, Vaishali and Helen uh, and all my other fellow outreach interns who've made this such a great experience. I think my biggest uh, takeaway from this uh, internship was that uh, 
software is just not about uh, pushing code, but also about building communities that are uh, inclusive and diverse and therefore more productive. Uh, I want to thank everyone in this community for making it such a safe and inclusive space. Um, if you'd like to reach me, uh, here are the ways. And uh, please let me know any questions you have. Uh, thank you for listening to me. Are there projects actively using VKMS already? Hi. Um, to my knowledge, uh, as far as I know, not right now. We're still figuring out a way to like uh, use it within CI. Okay. And it looks like this is it for questions. Oh, uh, Daniel Stone is trying to explain in IRC that there is one use case that they are using it for CI in Western. Uh, okay. And now Daniel Vetter asks, What's the biggest hurdle that should be fixed for people ramping up on the RM drivers? Um, um, uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't really understand of ramping up as in. Okay, what's the biggest issue that should be fixed for people trying to learn how to work with the RM drivers? Um, I, I think slightly maybe better documentation. Like uh, as a beginner, it was it, it took a while for me to uh, uh, like understand the terminology and all. So it's, it's something that I would like to contribute and help improve. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think otherwise it's a great community <laughs> to be you know, part of it. Okay, looks like that's it for the questions for now. Uh, thank you very much for your great talk, Simara. And well, welcome to the community. Thank you Thank and you so much. have a great rest of the conference. You too. Thank you. Bye.